Keystone XL pipeline is one step closer to being approved. Today, Nebraska's governor approved a new route for the project that would avoid an environmentally sensitive area. If completed, the pipeline will bring oil from Alberta all the way to Texas. Original plans to cut through Nebraska were sent back to the drawing board after local environmentalists objected to its path through the state. The company proposed an alternate route avoiding the sensitive area, but many still worry about the impact of a leak on the environment. A state regulator insists the new route is safe. Chris Epp is following this story, and he joins us now. Chris, you've been in touch with TransCanada, which is behind the pipeline. Yeah, and the company hasn't spoken much throughout this whole approval process because it's been such a sensitive issue. There are a lot of Americans who really object to that pipeline, so it's been very delicate for the company, who still maintains this will create thousands of jobs in that country. Now, TransCanada did issue a statement this morning saying today's approval of the Nebraska reroute moves us one step closer to Americans receiving the benefits of Keystone XL, the enhanced energy security it will provide and the thousands of jobs it will create. Keystone XL is the most studied cross-border pipeline ever proposed and it remains in America's national interests to approve a pipeline that will have a minimal impact on the environment. Now that pipeline is still a few steps away from being fully approved. The next step is for the State Department to review the idea. This whole process, as you remember, got sort of derailed because of uh, you know, insistence on sort of politicizing something that was not political. It was a process that uh, followed the uh, format that had been used in the past in terms of the State Department's role uh, in improving these kinds of pipelines when they cross international boundaries. So even if the State Department does sign off on this, Barack Obama still has to. No indication yet on when that will happen or if it will happen because he's facing a lot of pressure from both sides of this debate, Ian. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris.